Hello, my name is Brandon Dowler, and for my P4 Shadow, I had the pleasure of following David Alvarado under Dr. Bernadette Cornelison at Banner UMC Family Medicine Clinic in an ambulatory care setting. This setting basically is a follow-up to a doctor's appointment where we would discuss medication management for problems such as COPD, asthma, diabetes, smoking cessation, coagulation, and a lot of med general medication management. A typical day for David would be checking in with all of Dr. Cornelison's patients, talking about where they at on their regimens, if they're adhering to it, if they're having any problems, if their blood glucose levels, most of her patients are uh, diabetes patients currently. So if they need uh, changes in insulin, if they need to try a new product, if that product's not working for them, if it's too costly, they find a lot of different ways to work with these people. Um, the pharmacist specific duties is straight medication management. They do no diagnosis here. It's, it's just looking over the medications where um, they can, like I said before, just make adjustments and make changes based on what the patient needs. The residents, they were saying, get about 15 minutes per patient where the pharmacist and the nurse practitioners there get an hour to an hour and a half. That said, the patient the clinics ran with one doctor that oversees a handful of residents. There's one staff pharmacist, which is Dr. Cornelison, and there's two nurse practitioners. And they're the ones that do all the medication, or the management, rather. Um, for additional training, although like most pharmacy specialties, it doesn't require anything, but a PGY-1 and possibly a PGY-2 is preferred just to get the extra experience and knowing exactly how to help manage um, people's conditions. Um, the hours for this, David usually goes in at eight and gets off at four. He does get an hour lunch, so it's not too bad of a day. It's a your typical eight to four, nine to five kind of job. Um, his responsibilities are, are, like I said before, checking in with the patients and reporting back uh, to Dr. Cornelis and ensuring that these patients get the exact care that they need. David did say that he would be interested in this um, field of pharmacy because it's not clinical in the sense that you're diagnosing these patients with diseases that they're coming to you after their doctor's appointment. So you get full say and power to help them with their medication and you have um in some instances prescribing power where under the the name of a doctor that's overseeing the clinic you can make prescriptions and change medications for these uh, patients without requiring them to take an extra step which is pretty cool um after graduation david actually doesn't know where he wants to go he said he would consider this but he's leaning more towards the research and retail side of things but he did tell me as far as wanting to succeed on rotations in general, that I need to be open-minded. And then if I'm looking to get a, um, a residency after school, that I should keep my mind completely open to moving out of state just because of the, uh, the competency and everything. As for myself, I would consider doing this on a rotation. I had a lot of fun with Dr. Cornelison. Seems like she's pretty much in charge where she's at being the only staff pharmacist there. I think I would have a lot of fun just not so much being responsible for diagnosing people, but understanding how to make their remedies perfect, which is pretty cool what we go to school for. We're the medicine experts when the doctors diagnose. Um, what I want to do this as a career that I don't know, I'll find that out more on rotations. I'd have to spend a lot more than four hours in, in this place to, to know that. But based on what I saw so far, it does seem pretty interesting and I would like to get my feet a little bit more wet and figure out what it's all about. Thank you.